working on the next page. Oh my goodness, look at this wonderful fourth flag diagram. So what are the X and Y components of F1? So we got this and we got that. So we got F1 times the cosine of 60 is F1X and F1 times the sine of 60 is F1Y. Now bear in mind, I'll actually have this formula on the final, so don't panic. So 20 times the sine of 60, that's going to work out to be about 17.3 newtons. Woo! And F1 cosine of 60, why, that's going to be 20 times a half, which ends up being 10 newtons. So when I look at the choices here, what do I end up getting for my answer? Why? Look at that. I believe I'm getting choice E. Isn't that wonderful? Now, which way is this object going to be pulled? Well, let's see. I've got F1Y of 17.3. I got this 10 newtons down. And I have a little element um, to the right. So what this means is that we're going to be up and to the right just because I'll say A would, would be the best answer for number 11. Now, really quickly, um, we throw something in the air, just so you know, if you have anything up in the air and you're on Earth and we're ignoring air resistance, all is going to be down. Always. So that should wrap up that page of your practice final, and we'll move on to the next page in a second.